Hi guys, today I want to show you how I edit my videos in this new free software called Video Proc Vlogger. It's the best alternative to GoPro Studio and iMovie. Let's start from the beginning and download the software. Go to this website, I will put the link in the video descriptions. Once you're on the website, scroll down the page and the new window will appear on the top. On the right side, you will see Video Proc Vlogger. You can also see that it's always free to download and use. The software works for both Windows and Mac. And once you click on download, it will automatically download the right software that fits your operating system. Then you just install it really quickly. On Mac, you just go to Downloads, open Video Proc Vlogger Installer, drag Video Proc Vlogger icon into Applications folder, and you're all done. Once download and installations are complete, you open the video proc vlogger. The program will ask you to do a system setting. You will need to press on scan hardware and it will automatically do all the job. Then you just click next and it's all done. And you can start your video project and I will show you how to do it. Very simple. Now we are in video proc vlogger editing software. Once you open the software, before you start your new project, choose a project name and location where your video project will be saved. Then select video resolution. It's very important for this setting to match your GoPro settings or any other camera. For example, if you shoot your video in 1080p 60 frames per second, then make sure to select this resolution and correct frame name. Now click on new project new window will appear asking you to log in with your email and license number. Since this software is free, just ignore this window and just exit it. Now you have your project screen open and we are ready to start editing and see all the tools that Video Proc Logger has to offer. I want to mention that I'm really impressed with the software because it has much more tools and capabilities than iMovie or GoPro Studio. Now we're going to add our media files. To work in the software, you don't need to use only GoPro videos. Even though the software is great for GoPro videos, you can use any videos from any camera, including videos from your phone. To add new video files to your media library, click on this plus sign and select files that you want to add. Files upload very quickly. Now you see all your files. You can also add pictures to your project. Right underneath, click on the plus sign and select your photos. If you scroll down, you can see that you can also add music and subtitles. So this is our media library. This bottom window is our project window. That's where we do all our edits. The first one is video track. That's where our main video clips go. Underneath is an overlay track. That's where we put video clips or pictures to overlay our main video track. And the third row is an audio track. That's where we put our music or pre-recorded voice clips. And on the middle is a preview window. So now let's drag a file into our project and explore the tools. Also, once you drag the video into the timeline, green check mark will appear on the video in the media library, indicating that the video is already part of your project, which is, helps you to know what videos you already used and what videos you didn't touch yet. Now the video is in our timeline. You can see the tools right above it. Even though it looks scary because there are so many unknown tools, you don't need a lot of them to edit a simple video. If you right click with your mouse on the video, in the drop down window you will see the most used tools, such as play individual clip, it means it will only play this clip that you selected. Then you got play timeline, means to play all the clips in order in your timeline. Then you got move backwards and forward, means to rearrange the clips. You can also do it by dragging the clips with your mouse. Then you got split clip, you can split clip into two or more individual clips and that's how you can jump cut your videos as well by grabbing and moving the video to the needed part. Also you can cut out the parts of the video that you don't want to use by splitting your video around the unwanted part and deleting that part. You can also add marker to the clip or add marker to the timeline. It means that you can mark specific spot on the individual video or on your video project and once it's marked you can right click on that marker and see the actions that available such as split clip from the marker play from the marker go back to the marker and that's how you can remove the marker as well you can also mute that clip you can also detach the audio copy cut paste delete all the very simple and self-explanatory tools and actions 
Just want to mention once you detach your audio or add any other audio on the right side, you will see audio editing tools. And if you right click and select audio editor, this window will appear and that's where you can do your more advanced audio editing. Now if you look to the right and see this minus and plus symbols, it's zoom in and out your video project. It's a very helpful tool for more precise video editing. It's stretching your clip and it's easier for you to pinpoint and edit that specific part in your video. Also, if you look in the top left corner and click on transitions, it will show you the transition library where you can select many cool transitions for your video clips. You just select transition you like and drag it. And let's see what it looks like. I gotta say that in Video Pro Vlogger, there is much larger transition library than any other editing softwares. Also, you got your titles right here. There is also, you can see title library. To use title in your video, just drag it into the part where you want the title to be. And on the right side, you will see you have text edit window. If you click on the edit text, new window will appear where you can have all the tools and funds for text edit. Then you got effects. As you can see, there are so many cool effects you can use for your videos. You just select an effect and drag into the video. You can stretch it for the full length of the video or only to a small part of the video. Now let me show you how you can overlay your video with other video clips or pictures. Drag your main video into the video track window in your timeline. Then select and drag other video into the overlay track window to the part of your main video where you want overlay to go to. And then you will see the second video appeared inside the first video. You can change the second video into full screen or move it into the side of the video you would like. Then on the right side, you got more tools for your video editing, such as opacity, color and filter, transform, reverse play, speed of your video, lens distortion correction, and that's where you can select the GoPro camera you use for the specific video and camera view. And then you move transformation bar. I gotta say, you're not going to find this tool in iMovie or GoPro Studio. Then you got image blurring and smoothing. You also get to change the voice, which is pretty cool. And right above your timeline, you have more tools, although we went some of them already. You have split, which will split only selected clip. Then you have split all, it splits all the videos and audios in video track, overlay and audio track all together. Then you have ripple edit, which is standard setting. For example, when you press on delete the clip, all the other clips will shift and close the gap. Then you got speed edit, you can slow more or make it fast. You can also crop your video, it appears in separate window, crop the part you want and then select apply. Then you have your motion editor and there is so many cool tools you can explore and play with for motion editing. Then you have color editor where you can adjust color and contrast of your video. Then audio detach, voice recording for your voiceovers. Then you can extract audio to convert into text and that's how you get subtitles. Now, let's edit a short video clip using these tools. Drag the file into the timeline. Stretch the clip for more precise editing. Now, let's set transition in the beginning clip. I like this fade to white transition. You can also use it in between the clips and at the end of the clip. And let's add a title to the video. Go to titles, select which one to use and drag it into the timeline subtitle track. On the right side, you write the title, select size and font, and you press edit text. In this new window, you can choose style of your text. And there's so many different options. And once you're done, press apply. Now let's add more video clips and do some trimming. In this specific video I have is a vlog. So I have a voice over the clip and I want to do edit only to the audio in this clip, but I'm happy with the clip itself, the video part of it. I will just detach the audio and do my trimming and edits to the audio file only without disturbing the video image file. Now let's move on to another clip and do some trimming here. In this video clip, I'm happy with the audio, but I want to do some splits and trims in the video part without disturbing the audio. In this case, let's detach the voice again and do some trimming and cutting out the part that I don't like. Also, if you plan to make music over video, then just mute the clip and do some splitting and trimming in this file without detaching anything. 
You can also just trim the voice without detaching the audio. But as you can see, when splitting the clip and trimming the voice without detaching an audio, it also trims the video in this clip. In this case, after you're done with the trimming, you just drag the same exactly file into the overlay track and stretch an overlay video to full screen and it's done. All these ways are good and it's just up to you what is more easier and more comfortable for you. Now I want to slow down only a small part in the video. For that effect, you just trim around the part that you want to slow down, then select the part. On the right side, go to play speed and then you can do preset speed setting or you can do custom. And then new window will appear. Move the bar to the left to slow down and let's see how it looks like. Pretty nice, right? Now let's add some filter to our clip. Go to effect and let's see what effect we like. Then drag effect into the effect track and now I want to align my effect with the title. So this effect will only show up when the title is on. Now let's do some color correction to the video. I usually like to add a little contrast to my videos and some saturation. Now in this clip I want to zoom in just some part of the video. Go to crop left side screen is where you do all your cropping and on the right side where you see the result how it looked like in the video after we cropped select apply and it's done and this tools is what you would use the most of the times for your simple edits once our video is done click on export new window will open we will name the file choose where you save it choose format quality of the video and i don't usually touch any other settings and then you press start and now your export is in process. I think the software is great and very simple to use and it's amazing that it's absolutely free to download and use. Also VideoProc currently has a giveaway. Once you try this VideoProc Blogger software or VideoProc Converter software and send your feedback to this email, I will include this email in the video description. You will have a chance to win GoPro Hero 10. Winner will randomly be picked on June 20th this year 2022 results will be announced on video proc facebook and twitter accounts and winner will be contacted by email i hope you like this video and if you have more questions about the video editing in video proc vlogger please leave it in the comments and i will be happy to answer thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye